we should write unit tests but uh, it's hard to know where to start and how much time to devote to tests um, compared to actual implement implementation um, so what is the best place to start so in this session i will explain the different types of te te uh, tests tests uh, and the importance of them and also we'll be looking at the javascript uh, testing framework and we'll do a quick demo and let's uh, have a look how to get started with just um so yeah the first thing we're going to take a look at is uh, the different types of testing um so we have the main uh, three types of main tests uh, we, that we are going to use uh, in a software uh, in a software so uh, those three are the functional tests also known as end to end tests and the integration tests and the unit tests um, so the smallest uh, test is the unit test as it, as just like the name explains so with the unit test, we are going to test only test a single part of our implementation, uh, which is which we won't be having any dependency in, or any integrations. It's just the plain uh, function that we are just trying. We just we are just checking we get the correct uh, output for our input. So that's uh, unit testing. Uh, the next one is the integration test. Uh, with integration tests, we are checking the functions that uh, usually have API calls or trying to access a file system or some other things that which has dependencies. So uh, to, uh, to test that kinds of implementations, we are going to use integration tests. So the final one is the fun functional tests. Uh, also known as the end-to-end -end test. Uh, with the uh, functional tests, we are uh, we are looking at our application from the user's point of view and test that the system work as uh, we expecting to expecting it to work. Um, so yeah, that's those are the three types of tests we have. Uh, I have this diagram shows. Uh, how those three um, uh, works in a software. So in the base, we have unit tests. And as you can see, it, it, uh, it uh, have a large base, base of our application because uh, unit tests are typically small, but there will be a lot of them, like hundreds or thousands of unit tests. But uh, when it comes to functional tests, tests, uh, we will be having only a couple of them. Uh, and the complexity of a functional test is way higher than a unit test because it's going to test uh, bigger things. And uh, so, yeah, so if you go upwards on this diagram, the complexity of the test will be, uh, will get high. If you go down this chart, if the, wait, yeah, if we go down to these charts, the number of tests that we are going to have will be will increase. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, let's uh, talk about the importance of testing. So there's a couple of there's a lot of benefits of writing tests. Uh, I have selected few of them, and I have described them more thoroughly on my uh, blog post. I will share it after this video. So for now, let's click, let's have a quick uh, look. So if we write a test, we can find our bugs easily and quickly. Since we are finding our bugs easily and quickly, it saves time. And it saves, it because it saves time, it saves money, so you know. And uh, and also it kind of act like the pro, uh, like a documentation of your functions, because uh, you see what I mean when we are uh, coding, 
because uh, usually those tests test describe what the function does. And uh, especially the unit testing uh, uh, help us to improve the quality of our software. Uh, so that's the main of main things uh, that uh, we have. The, these are the main benefits that we are getting from writing tests. Uh, so that now we have no the the different types of tests, and now we know the importance of writing tests. So let's uh, start writing some tests. So uh, to write this, uh, as I said, there are three types of tests. So uh, there are multiple frameworks you can use uh, to test uh, your code. Um, so today we are going to test our JavaScript code. So in order to test the integration part and the unit tests, we are going to use Jest, which is a JavaScript uh, testing framework, which is maintained by Facebook. So it's kind of big. Mm -hmm. um, for, for write functional tests, uh, people usually use Puppeteer, which is going to mimic the user interactions with the browser but we are not take we are not going to talk about property in this one so we are just take looking at uh, just and if, with just we are just taking looking at how to write unit tests so yeah uh, since it's uh, it's a javascript framework you can use it with anything that uses javascript so you can use it with react angular view TypeScript, whatever you can use it. Um, so, just is kind of big. You I mean it has uh, one and a half million weekly downloads? So that's kind of big. Um, so yeah, uh, let's uh, go. It. Um, let me Uh, first of all, I'm going to initiate a uh, 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 package JSON file. So I'm going to write npm dash file, which is going to generate my JSON file. And now I'm going to install the gist package, which I'm going to write npm install. Uh, Yes, and this is going to be a dev dependency, so I'm going to save it as a dev dependency. Let's wait until it uh, installs. Um, so until that, let's create a function to test. Um, I'm going to create a JavaScript file called um, sum and let's create a simple function which is going to take uh, two numbers and returns the sum of those numbers. So return x plus y. And I'm going to export this function. So I'm going to say modi.exports. Modi oh, we have the function that we need to test. So in order to run just, uh, we need to create a test file. So which is the a usual convention for that is just will be the name of the JavaScript file and we are adding test and we are just saving it as uh, test dot this. So it's, we created the function that we need to test and I uh, exported that function 
fold it. Now let's put that one. Uh, so writing a just function is real easy. So we have to call this test function, and this test function is going to take two parameters. The first one, uh, in the first one, we are going to uh, describe what the function does. For for example, this function will do uh, what this function does is. Uh, numbers so in here we need to try to explain the point what the function does as much as possible so the second uh, parameter is a function mm. in here uh, yes the we are uh, with the test. We are some. We are expecting something, right? We are expecting an output, and we are uh, we are just checking whether we have the correct uh, output. So, in order to write the test, uh, a test a function is just saying expect, and it has a point called the. In that uh, function, which is to be so in the expect, uh, we are going to pass the function as the parameter for the expect function, which is going to be sum. So we are going to pass some values. So if, let's say one and two. So if we pass one and two. So this function it's going to returns the sum of the function which will be x plus so x plus y which will be three okay we write wrote our first uh, test now we can test it uh, so in order to test you can write this and uh, type your file name or something like but uh, if you take a look at our package json file there's a script called test. All you have to just do is just replacing. Okay. So if you now write npm test. Okay, it's failing our first test. Uh, to be it's tb. Oh, yeah, damn it. You can see the first uh, we pass our first test. Um, let's uh, write another one. Um, yeah, let's write another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say uh, uh, and we're going to pass with pass to parameters. Uh, um, uh, e. And x plus so it's divide right so x divide y that function as well will be ready to come on this Uh, require that function as well. Will be 
It's going to be test. How about it does? Uh, so uh, dy two numbers. We're going to pass an arrow pointer. And here we have the. We're going to pass the function to the expect function. It will be dy. Uh, like four comma two um, expecting it to be uh for now let's uh let's uh i think you missed one parenthesis there uh, wait yep So yeah, if you pass uh, four and two, the uh, the function should return to be two. Let's run this one. Yeah, you can see uh, that's two numbers. We passed that two numbers one, and also the divide two numbers. So to test, uh, let's just try to fail the one. says uh, one fail and one pass so we have two total uh, functions so as you can see uh, once you do going through your development process we are going back to our uh, functions and we are changing something right so if we made something like this uh, the function is going to fail and we are going it's going to prevent us from uh, breaking the uh, software or the application and also, you might say that uh, we are expecting to be three. So if we return uh, three, that it will pass. Yeah, it will pass. See, as you can see, it will pass. But we can add another code. For example, let's say if we pass another one. So let's say two plus two will be four. How it fails. Yeah, as you can see, it uh, fails because we had another uh, expect to be function. So, as you can see, you can change your, uh, you can use different types of method to make your uh, test more robust. And yeah, uh, so for now, let me keep it the way it is. Another cool thing that uh, just provides that provides us is that uh, if we update our script test with coverage thing, so let me run it. As you can see, it gives lots of uh, data and it's going to generate this uh, coverage folder. And if we go close inside that, there will be an index file. If we open it, it with the browser, it says that this is the file and there are is, uh, two functions and we are testing all of them. And it says we have covered the whole uh, file with totally we are just, uh, it says that uh, we're checking all the functions. So it says 100%. So for example, uh, let me come in this one. So that means we are not testing that that one. As you can see, now it says uh, fifty percent because we are not uh, uh, testing the other function. So the goal is to uh, make it more green, but we we can always as, uh, get hundred uh, percent functions coverage. It will be hard, but uh, it's better more the better so we we need to try to get it uh, test more functions as possible um and here uh we test this 
with to be and we have different methods like uh, to equal if you are trying to compare objects or arrays because you know we can uh, compare is easily we can't uh, so we have uh, to be null not to be and we have different types of methods so we take a look at the uh, documentation as you can see there are a lot of things you can uh, check for example you can check whether the now return value is and not a number or is it uh, truth even if you are just checking if it is returns when it returns booleans we can check it's null not to be so it, uh, just cause sorts of variance so you can achieve what you want but today we just look at the simplest way to get started with uh, just um uh so yeah this code carting is really cool um uh so yeah uh, so that was the demo quick demo i was planning to do uh so here there are some memes because we start once we start uh, writing tests it, it's going to fail so you can try, try one of them you know you can try disabling them or you we, we can not you can uh, skip writing them you know with being stuff uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's about oh, uh, that's about this, and thanks for listening.